This video outlines in short how to fill in the part 2 section of an initial trial and how to submit it. Part 2 includes information individually for each member state concerned, or MSC, and consists of two different subsections. The trial sites. And the documents that are provided to support the application. In the sponsor workspace, in Part 2, you need to upload the necessary documents for each member states concerned, or MSC. Start from the first MSC, which in this example is Austria. Click on the lock button, to be able to work on the various subsections, and use the arrows to expand the working areas of each subsection. In the trial site subsection, click on the arrow button, to expand the area of the subsection. Click on the Add Site button to insert the site, where the clinical trial will be conducted. In the pop-up window, use the search functionalities to find the organization. Select the trial site from the results, and click on the Add Trial Site. The details of the site are listed below, on the left side. On the right side, the details of the investigator need to be populated. In the Actions column, click on the pencil icon. To populate the details of the investigator, in the pop-up window, fill in the mandatory details fields, and click on the confirm button. Mandatory fields are indicated with the asterisk. This video will focus on these fields. More information on the content and the structure of part 2, can be found in the e-learning. Use the bin icon if you wish to remove the selected site, and the pencil icon if you wish to edit the details of the site, or the investigator. More sites for the same member state can be added, if needed. Scroll down, in the second subsection for documents, and you will see various fields in which you need to upload the supporting documentation. Open the recruitment arrangements, and upload the document by using the Add Document button. In the pop-up form, either drag and drop the document on the grey area, or click on the grey area, and browse your files to find the document you want to upload. Click on the Attach button. Use the same functionalities to upload the remaining documents of Part 2. You can also bulk upload all the documents of Part 2 in the subsection All Documents, found in the end of Part 2 page, and specify the document types when they are added. Once you finish with the first MSC, you need to follow the same procedure for the other MSCs. In this example, it would be Germany. Below Part 2 section, click on the second MSC. You need to fill in Part 2 for the second MSC. Populate the necessary data and upload the required documents in both trial sites and documents subsections, as you did previously for the first MSC. Once you finish with the second MSC, you can save your application, by clicking on the Save button, found on top. You can also click on the check button, to verify whether you have missed any field or document from any section of the dossier. As this would prevent you from submitting your application. Red exclamation marks appear to indicate the sections where something still needs to be completed. In this example, the exclamation mark appears in the part 2 section for the second MSC. The field with missing information is highlighted in red. Open the subsection and upload the missing document, which is mandatory, as indicated by the asterisk. Upload the missing document, using the Add Document button. You can use again the Check button for a final check. The green message on the upper right corner indicates that the trial is valid and is ready to be submitted. Click on the Submit button. In the pop-up window, use the checkboxes to submit the Part 2 of each of the MSCs. Part 1 is always included by default in the submission of an initial trial application. After your selection, click on the Confirm button. In the submission confirmation form that follows, view the summary and if you agree, tick in the relevant box, and then, click in the Confirm button. You will see a green message that informs you that your application has been successfully submitted. You will be transferred in the page of the clinical trial in which the status has changed from draft to under evaluation. This video is part of the CTIS training program. For more information on how to complete the part 2 of an initial clinical trial application, and how to submit an initial clinical trial application, you may visit our training platform and our additional materials.